and I was always interested in art, so we started talking about it, showing each other our work, and um, we've just been in touch for the last three years until the last year we started doing these boards together. And I thought we could maybe do it better if we would spray it. Um, some of my background as a painter gave me some ideas. And we used that to just build layers that were smoother, that weren't as rough. So it would give them a nicer surface to work on. out here uh, this is beautiful right uh, when we first bought the property there was no house we had to tear everything down it was a it was it was where we're sitting here was three 30 yard dumpsters of tires uh, and so uh, Oscar and I said well you know let's take a walk and so we went back and we took a walk and we were just blown away. This is one of the prettiest spots in Big Cypress. So you get back, I mean, this, think this is pretty. You get further in, it gets a lot prettier. And I tell Nikki, I said, you know, we, take, we went back, we came out, we actually came out right through here. And this is deep and muddy. And uh, some areas you gotta swim. <laughs> and Nikki, we can I take you for a walk? Oh, I ain't going out there. She wasn't, no, I ain't going out there. Uh, it took Nikki about two years to get in the water. Now you can't keep her out. It took about four years to get Jackie in the water. <laughs> now she loves it. Once you get out here and feel the essence of it, I've had people on swamp walks that were, I could have sworn they were gonna faint, they were so scared. At the end of the walk, I would say, well, are you doing okay? And they would say, "We can we do this again? From, I would tell you, from complete fear, complete happiness. That's what the swamp, it, it sounds ridiculous, but this big cypress is a magic place. I immediately knew in my heart that I needed to do something about it, and I talked to my husband about it, and ever since we've been doing partnering with them, supporting the, the, the ministry. We've known Bobby and Sherry and Love a Child since 1996 when they first went on the local Christian station, TV station, and my husband was taken by them riding on mules in the mountains. And he said, I have to meet these people. He said, and they're right here in Naples. We were in Fort Myers, but he said, I have to meet these people, and he went the next day and met those people, <laughs> and those people changed our lives and changed our heart. I'm fascinated with a different culture, and like Bobby and Sherry say, they're our neighbors. They're right next to us. Our lifestyle is so different here in Naples compared to what it is in Haiti, and I was able to see that firsthand by going down there, and it's, um, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, and especially now since they've had the earthquake, there's so many people without homes, without jobs, and the littlest thing that we can do to help just makes a big difference. It's, uh, I, 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 the, the word I keep using, it's humbling, and, um, and there's probably a side to it that's a little scary. Um, looking in, almost looking inside oneself. Um, like, and I think others would have to ask, ask the question, is, um, do they see Michael? I see Michael from Michael from the inside, uh, and I again I, I think Nicholas uh, has a gift with that. 